All right, welcome back to Riverside. This is Foundation, and this episode is going to be a little different because I'm going to try to do it unedited. And boy, can I ramble. So let's see how well I can do here. I am sitting on the bread side of the village, and I'm looking at one and then two, which is blocked by this house, new uh, wooden bridges and I'm going to call this a uh, ghost town island because There is an issue with about six villagers It seems like every time I had to destroy a house because a villager got stuck Those villagers that get that got stuck or the villagers that lived in those houses are now floating from house to house to house so they'll show up in these houses for a while and then vanish and they seem to show up in every house that's under construction uh, they, they keep it warm, you know, they warm up the house and then and then the new people move in uh, Some sort of a bug. I believe the developers know about it I think it's gonna be fixed in the next version and boy am I excited for the next version because this is going to be the last time I ever build anything this big however This succeeded in the goals I had for this village because I didn't like this map I, it's, I don't hate the map, but if you watched episode one, that silly little skit I had where I said this is a, basically a bug-infested swamp without any hills. It's pretty much how I felt. So I built my own mountain, which is a Riverside Castle. And this whole area acts more like a city than a cute little village. So I can't wait for the next, I keep saying episode, I think, but for the next series, uh, you know, I'm going to build in little clusters again. In, uh, in more of a cute uh, kind of a format. Uh, something more endearing, something more typical of uh, how you might uh, build a village in foundation. But uh, I, do like, I do like the way this turned out. Um, it's not for everybody, right? But um, yes, everything is grouped together like it would be in a city. Uh, this is all about uh, bread and wheat and related industries. And of course, fish everywhere and uh the textile district i mean come on i mean look at this it's all textiles and then running down beside it is residential i wouldn't say i planned it this way all right but it does work out well because most of the people that work here live right over here so they're all really close and that allows the city to keep functioning even at the number of villagers that we had now, just before I started recording, uh, I trapped somebody in a boat on the water and uh, they finally got mad and left. And that's important to me because we're now at an even number. And these darn sheep farms are still full. Give me a break with that. All right. I, I guess we need another tailor or something. We, we've got plenty of uh, these are not called. This is not called cloth anymore. It's called textiles. I think I noticed that before, and I don't know when they changed it. But um, we'll just turn that off. I just want to, want to make sure nobody gets stuck. So we're at 1,438 villagers. Uh, we have uh, 94 happiness. Uh, we now have 43 villagers lacking uh, luxuries. And guess what? They're just going to have to lack them, because I'm not going to build on to that monastery again. Um, I have already. Um, and uh, I tried to add more, uh, I, I did add uh, two more apiaries, but we're, uh, the honey is still low. Um, I am building one last building, dare I say that? One last building, okay? Uh, I'm building another weaponsmith, uh, which is going to go in right here, because uh, I'm not calling these weapons, I'm calling these uh, fancy letter openers. You know, they, they look like swords, but they're small, because I actually... Uh, uh, let's just call it hack together a uh, a letter opener market, and uh, these things sell for uh, 20 gold a piece. Sure, really, really priced them higher. But um, it's not that that really benefits me any because people just people if somebody wants a luxury, there's only so many people that want luxuries, and they'll go find a luxury and they won't necessarily buy more just because you have more. Um, Anyway, I have the uh, villager list up because I wanted to make sure the new villagers and uh, we got Stan Fleet here and Left Queen and Humphrey and Precious. I swear we've had these names before. I wonder if they just started over. God Oliva. Now these are sorted by arrival. So Hans, 
Um, you all are moving into houses where I would expect you to. We're at the we're at the edge of the world, and by the way, they have uh, basements on this side. Check it out. And uh, but uh, you are moving into houses. But if I check out uh, the ghost island, I, okay. I'm not even gonna speak it. All right, that's the best I could do. Leave me alone. Uh, I should. We should make a new font. Oh wait, somebody's upgrading. Where? Where are you? Up right. Of course you're upgrading over here. That's exactly where I wanted you to upgrade. Right? Not over here. Not over here where I rebuilt this area and I put bushes all over the place and I was crossing my fingers that this would upgrade. Nope. Nope. Way over there. Oh well. My fault for not doing that whole market area earlier. Anyway, if we look at the ghost town here, uh, we have all these houses that uh, don't have anybody in them yet. I think people will move into these eventually. Now... These are our, let's call them the village warmers, okay? Because uh, if we look at Helmek, and we look where he works, um, yeah, he works at one of the bread. I think you both. Alienora, are you also at this market? Yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, the shirt. It used to be shirts and shirts, now it's shirts and shoes. Easy for me to say. And, uh, yeah, you guys are just moving all over the place. Uh, right now you live 327 meters from home, so obviously that's not efficient anymore. I should kick you out. I really should. I should kick you out and get somebody closer that's not house hopping. Because you guys are house hopping. Maybe you're doing the house fixer-uppers. Maybe that's what it is. You know, what are they, the house flippers? Yeah, you guys are house flipping. Right? That's, that's what you're doing. You're house flipping. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I, I really want new people to move in here because I'm uh, the barriers are now down to 1600. This is this is nearing collapse. So if you're not paying attention as you had villagers, berry starts to get down to a thousand or lower at, in this size village, and that means people are going to start shifting to the secondary foods, um, not the bread, but more like fish, and then they'll collapse one by one, and then it'll be a food. It'll, it'll just be a food issue. So I need more berries. But um, there's nobody that lives over here yet. Um, I just put three in over here. And then for you guys... Let's just do three more. Bibby and Luigi. Luide. 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 Luide yeah, Morgan. Morgan, I can pronounce this name. Luide. How in the world? But you should live up on the hill here. You do. Up on the hill. So you walk down across the bridge over here. And um, you, you pick your berries. And then, uh, what are they called? Uh, gatherers. Right? Because I'd really like this to get above 2,000 again. For a while there, when I first started, this was 3,000. Now, what else did I want to say? There hasn't been a video in three days. But I have played the game every day uh, for about four hours as I slowly build this thing up to the end. And the end is very near. Um, the city is just about as full as it can be. Uh, and it, it has achieved my goal. You can see that silly castle no matter where you are in this place. Right? Um, unless, of course, you're looking the other way, in which case you can't see it. Unless I set up a bunch of mirrors on the side. But no, no, no. So, right, you can see the castle from just about everywhere. And, um, so is the last building done yet? Everything takes forever in this place to build. And they'll get here and they'll put the hammer down three or four times. There you go. Actually, you delivered wood. And it'll get a little more. And then that'll be it. And then somebody else will have to come along and finish it. Um... Right, and 132 hunting now. How are we doing? Uh, seven villages lacking housing, 18 villages lacking um, luxuries. Like I said, that's just the way it is. Although perhaps this uh, weaponsmith, I guess you wouldn't call him a letter opener smith, the uh, weaponsmith will help with the, uh, with the letter opener situation. And I, I'm lost. Here it is right here. Okay. Uh... What have I done in the past few days? I added more residential zones. Uh, I added more uh, forester camps, more um, lumber camps, and more sawmills. I think three more sawmills. 
So right now our wood is staying between 50 and 100 fairly consistently. Um, ouch. Flowers now down to 36. Wheat's 154. Flowers dropping. Interesting. Uh, that tells me that um, the game's starting to struggle more now. Yeah, well, so now I'm down to 25 frames per second. So this is about it. And it's a shame, but, you know, all good things must come to an end. Uh, this, city, this city has uh, run its course. And I will never, ever build a city. For one thing... I'll never build a castle that big again. I don't think I'll ever have 1,440 villagers again, even close, uh, until the uh, the game engine is much more optimized. If you think about the next version, um, one of the ways that I maintain this many villagers is that I put, um, you know, we have we have berry camps, where literally like uh, all these uh, berry huts are for these berries, which is insane, okay? That's absolutely insane, and it's hideous, but it works. Uh, in the new version, you can't do this, because um, I don't know if you saw my live stream of it or not, but basically, uh, they'll pick these for a while, I don't know, whether it's a week or so, and the berries will turn gray. You'll still see that they're dots, but they turn gray, and there's no berries available, and you have to let them replenish. And so the idea is, is that you have to keep expanding, but, you know, to expand, you need money, and so everything's going to be slower. Uh, and so to support this size population, uh, it's a challenge. Nothing important, right? No, just that silly sheep farm. It's, it's going to be a challenge to uh, get anywhere near maybe even a thousand villagers. But um, the game works a lot better with, I'd say, 750 or less right now anyway. And uh, so so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, Here's one thing I wanted to point out, though. I was trying to figure out what's the straightest road that I have. And I believe this is it. This road uh, straightens out here, and you can follow it all the way up to the trees. And if you, if you get in here and scoot over just a little bit, you can see the trees. So basically, you can see this is the furthest you can see in the village, I think. This is the longest road that you can see. It's not exactly straight, but hey, for foundation, Pretty darn straight, right? And, oops, there goes the mouse. The mouse snaps forward. Um, so, what else did I want to show? Again, I'm not editing. So, this is me rambling while I'm not editing. I'm looking at our ghost town again. I think everybody's gone now. No, you two are still here. You've been here a while. Hmm, are these markets selling anything? Grapes and arrows. And they both sold one. How about that? Um, I think these bridges turned out pretty good. Uh, I haven't really messed with this area for a while. I did tear down a bunch of extra warehouses that I wasn't using anymore. You could see I probably could tear down more. We still have a lot of capacity to hold stone. We have 1,000 stone and we're not going to use it. But we're making it and we're storing it. Uh, and there's no place to sell it. Um, precious. Where do you live, Precious? Just out of curiosity. Okay, you're one of the ones that moved in here. Now see, you, I think, should work at this market. But if I kick you guys out, it's going to take you forever to transition. I'm doing it. Alright, we'll just keep these guys up. Right? And... As soon as you're out, I'll reassign new villagers to this. Uh, what else? This... So, did I... So, this road's kind of straight, too. Maybe it's actually the textile district. Now, this is insane, right? You can get up here. Now, me and... Me and... And, and straight roads don't get along. But, that's pretty far. This may be the furthest straight road, I don't know. But the tech, the giant textile district, right? Crazy. And the village was started here. Uh, not in the, oh, I forgot. Whoa, I'm way up here. Not in the castle, where was I going? Over here. 
Over here. The very first episode, I was on the end of this island. And this is where I built supposedly my Lord Manor here. And Perry. Uh, I can't see that. Open up. Oh, you're right here. I didn't even see this open up. Yeah, Perry. He's the uh, he's been selling grapes, not grapes. He's been selling berries ever since. And uh, he lives right here with uh, yeah, there's Perry with uh, Ricardus and Chris Christopher Christopherson and uh, Garrick. So you guys are still in here. It's gonna take forever. Forever to leave. Scoot over here. Right where I don't where I don't see the numbers and I don't see how much the village is crashing. Um, if we go to the top of the arrival list, there's uh, Mazzalina, Hubertus, Gorman, uh, Mori, Perry, uh, Ricardus, Claire, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. I forget. Somebody told me how to pronounce it and I forget. I think that was it. I think that was the starting villagers. Mori, where the heck do you live? Oh, you're over here. All right. Oh, a house is upgrading. Dare I look where? Of course it's over here. That's the perfect house to upgrade. Uh, that might block, too. If that's going to upgrade, that's awful crowded there. Yep. You're going to block this house. So I'm going to have to delete you. And so soon... Unless this house has more than one door. Oh, wait. Is this the house that's upgrading? No. This house is upgrading. Right here, construction site home, yeah. And fetching, it's fetching some wood. Uh, yeah, you're gonna block that door, so you're gonna be blocked from going home. Oh well. Yeah, that's, that's, that's been happening a lot too. A little too crowded. But if I delete you, you become the floating the floating villagers that float from home to home. House flippers. You become house flippers. Uh, what else? Here's the new market, which, uh, I don't know. If I had to do it again, I would try to plan. I'm, I'm just not somebody who plans ahead. I just like playing games and seeing where it goes. Um, which is how I think Foundation is best played. But... It would be nice to plan areas like this because you can see none of these houses upgraded. Alright, wait, we had two houses upgraded. This one was already upgraded, just two upgraded. I was really hoping these would all upgrade. I, I think I planted enough bushes in here to try to get this area to upgrade. I even added another uh, clothing market here because as somebody pointed out a few episodes ago, if you watch what villagers do, they will go to church and then immediately after church, they will be looking for uh, clothing or equivalent uh, goods. And so if you can put a market like that right outside a church, they'll go to it every time. Hey, speaking of which, uh, we've these markets have freed up finally. So, yeah. Tie a notice around the old oak tree. Uh, you're here. And I wonder if anybody got that reference. That was pretty weak. And uh, Stamberk, or Behringer, or Seamanus, or Aleve. You know, if you have a headache, take some Aleve. Uh, let's do Stamberk. Um, you're right here. All right, so you're more efficient now because at least you live close to those markets. And what was I looking at? We've got a lot. I actually don't really have that many unemployed. Mm, maybe we do. I can't, I can't flip here, so it's hard to see how many... That doesn't even work. So the scroll bar is pretty much dead. Um, looks like two pages of unemployed. But um, what else can we look at? The uh, all the the apiary area, the main apiary area. Although I've built on on the other side, uh, these warehouses. This stores grapes, and this stores tools. Of course, boy, do we have a lot of tools. Did that darn? Did this finish yet? All right, have you noticed? So I've been recording for 19 minutes now, unedited, and I really don't want to go over 20 minutes, but, or a little, not much over 20 minutes. And uh, this thing's still building. 
Um, now, granted, um, that's the end of the planks. No, we still need 20 tools. It's not going to finish. It's not going to finish. So, um, that'll have to wait for another time. Because, um, right, I just wanted to do one unedited video and see uh, what the response was. So, can I... Is there a way... Now, another thing about this map is I can't do... See how the, the, when I hold down on the mouse button, the camera likes to pop in. I, li I like to do the uh, the drone, which is the slow view of the city, but you can't do it with this because you can't get high enough. Um, and I would normally edit this part out, but I'll, I'll just show you what I do. You go to the, the tallest mountain in the highest tower. Oh, sorry, that was a movie. Uh, you go as high as you can here because this... There, see how I got a little bit higher? And then... Then you go down just a little bit, and it's a little slower, but not much. So yeah, you can't really see, because I'd like to do a slow motion view so you can see the area, and then maybe do close-ups of some of it. This is a little slower now. I, so now I can't lift my my hand off the mouse, my finger off the mouse button. But um, this is the extra little village area that I built to support the uh, wheat farms and uh, accessories including this is where we get all our eggs right there and this is all the farmage uh, down the hill and uh, then here's the ghost town and these houses look more houses are building is anybody gonna live there I don't think so it's ghost island uh, not to be confused with fantasy island and so this area has built up quite nice right and here's the giant strip mall market. Um, and warehouses. One warehouse does shirts or clothing. The other warehouse, I forget. Fish? I forget. I'm not taking my finger off the button. Right? And then here's the back side of Riverside Castle. Are all the, uh, the new uh, vineyards. Um, and now including... Um, three up here wineries and what do we got we got 14 wine so eh, that's enough to buy if somebody wants to buy it um we have zero barrels though so the limiter is probably barrels uh here's a uh, fishing island here uh this is ridiculous but um it's the only way i could get up 3,000 fish <laughs> that's a lot of fish man uh, and what else? New residential area up here. Uh, it actually goes up pretty far. Uh, can I turn the user interface off with one hand? I can. All right. Um, this will make the view a little better. Uh, some new residential areas up here. A lot of people are moving in up here uh, rather than on uh, Ghost Island. The homes are being built on Ghost Island and up here. Don't even ask me how that works. New weaponsmith not done yet. Not going to get done. Um, this is mainly the heavy industry area, right? Where we make the tools and the um, iron from the iron ore. Um, the, all the blacksmiths are the darker buildings. And the smelters are the ones with the, with the flame on them. Uh, something got done. Probably a house. Right, the new market unupgraded houses um the hunter section and again you know i've packed everything together all the hunters huts are here and they spread out pretty well because for a while i was getting the warning that uh they couldn't find any deer or whatever that warning is but then after i expanded the hunting zones back more into the woods here that that um problem went away and uh a few hunters huts in the woods most of them grouped on the woodland edge here. Uh, you know what? I told them to cut down these oak trees and they're not cutting them down. Oh, I guess probably because there's no woodcutters anywhere close. So there's nobody to cut them down. All right. And uh, what else do we got? Uh, here's the new area up in here. Now, the last church that I built is right here. And I did... Oh, I built a market. I forgot. I built two things. All right. All right, turn it back on. Turn it back on. There we go. Building complete house. 
Right, let's do, uh, I said bread, I meant clothing. And let's go ahead and assign available. There should be somebody right next door. Cecily. Cecily. Uh, go fetch some clothing and sell it. Um, because again, uh, and let's file it. Can we file somebody going in? You going in? Anyone gonna go into here? 20 of 20. Where are you going? Nothing. You're preparing to work, okay. Anyway, they'll go here, and right when they come out, they want to buy clothing. And, uh, you know, if you put it right out here, that really helps with the sales, possibly. How's the old budget doing? Minus 2163. It's moving in the right direction. Uh, I didn't plan it to even out right at 1500. I don't believe it will. But if it does, hey, I totally planned it. Totally. All right, I'm at 25 minutes. Uh, we're going to have to end it here. Um, you're not going to finish, are you? So close. So watch. Watch. Putting the hammer down, right? We got everything we need. Uh, Ellis is uh, getting close to finishing it. And then she's going to say, you know what? It's hot. I'm tired. I'm going to quit. So let's just check it out. Yep. Quit. There you go. Now Louie run is a sign. Now where are you? How far away are you? Uh, we're, we're, so we need to be there. We're way over here. Right? Okay. So that will finish and potentially uh, now that is uh, that adds to our maintenance though. What's the maintenance on these things? Upkeep cost is 10. Hmm. Well, it'll give somebody a job. Possibly give us some more letter openers. We have one right now. Uh, happiness is 94. As long as it stays above 90, I'm fine. And did I want to show anything else? I did a little touch up to the market. I put the climbing rose up on a couple of pieces. I really like the way that the climbing rose mod looks. And how are these markets? Now you'll notice that the markets on this side, uh, nobody's buying anything. Now, okay, one person bought some venison, but they're not broken. It's just that nobody passing by here is... Oh, one clothing, eight herbs, uh, but there's hardly any. That's one of the problems with that. Nobody that passes by here is a citizen, basically. Because uh, if you look at the population, uh, what do we got? 108 monks, 6 novices, 493 serfs, 446 commoners, 393 citizens. Really could use more citizens. But might have to restart the game to start another round of upgrades. And new villagers are joining. So, uh, this... Even if the upgrade comes out, even if the next version of Foundation comes out in the next day or so, um, I will do, I will start a new series on Sunday. Otherwise, it'll be the last Foundation video on Sunday. But I will do one more founda uh, Foundation, one more Riverside um, uh, episode uh, just to see if I can ever make, look at that, 1630. See if I can actually make a profit or at least break even. And I think I mentioned it before. Oh my gosh. I blabbered so long, 28 minutes, that the weaponsmith is now finished. And there he is right here. And yes, I think you have enough places to walk. All right. We can only assign one. And so uh, let's do uh, cork. Put a cork in it. Uh, start making some of those letter openers. Go away. Alright, who knows if that's going to help or not. Um, although, that just increased our maintenance by 10 a week, so... That's going to hurt my profit. Unless we can sell everything that you make. Which we should be able to, actually. Because I think we are selling. Um, yeah, if you look here, we sold uh, 40, 40 gold in uh, letter openers. Uh, so yes, we're definitely um, selling everything that we make, so that's good. But that is going to be it for now. Now I like to find a spot to um, to end the video. 
uh, someplace where it's, you know, a nice view. Um, I guess I, I haven't, this is a little lame, but, um, I have not actually ended here that I remember in a while. I must have when I first built it. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe out like this somewhere. So I'm in the, uh, this is, this is the apiary section. Be very careful. If you're allergic to bees, uh, maybe, maybe, um, stand somewhere else. But, um, there's the, uh, the new central market. Um, and of course the castle. And the bees. And let me turn off the user interface. And that is going to be it for now. And, uh, when we come back, uh... I have not been able to pry out of Ash exactly when the next version is going to be released. Uh, but I think everybody agrees that uh, it'll be released when it's ready. Um, and that's a good thing. Uh, but it's getting close. And uh, I am looking forward to it. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later.